Hello ladies and gentlemen, Nightlife here, and today I'm updating you with another newsfeed video. All my information comes from the Battlefield website if you want to check it out. I'll have links in the description below on the topics that I include today. In the past, I covered the In the Name of the Tsar expansion map. However, never did I give a release date, and it's not because I didn't want to, but because DICE never announced one. Today will be different though. DICE has announced that it will be available on September 5th for premium owners. Two weeks later, on September 19th, it will be available for purchase. Man, how exciting. That means it's just under a week away. If you haven't played Battlefield 1 or plan to buy it for another console or maybe your PC, I would check out the Battlefield 1 Revolution pack. Not too sure exactly on what it is, but I've heard it includes the standalone game and premium membership. I guess it's an alternative option. Moving on, like described in my BF1 Gamescom 2017 video, which a link will be provided down below. In the name of the Tsar DLC includes 11 new weapons, new vehicles, a new stationary weapon, a new game mode, and 6 new maps. By far the biggest expansion to date. The first map which is out already for premium members is of course Lupko Pass. This map to me is much like Monte Grappa with its vertical shape and steep large mountains. I will also be uploading a Battle Squad video on that map. So stay tuned for that. Albion, from this angle, or if you would, the shorelines, shows a lighthouse and that new stationary weapon to the far left. Volga River is said to have several tanks, so this might just be key to infiltrate and defend objectives. Brusilov Keep, and I know from this angle doesn't seem like it, but is a small mountain town fought between the Russians and Austro-Hungarians. Galicia, on the other hand, is a countryside in Russia. After some time of puzzling pictures and articles together, from my standpoint, I believe that the new operation mode will set in Brusilov Keep and Galicia, since the fight in Galicia is also between Russia and the Hungarians. And last, but certainly not least, we have Zaritsyn. Today, DICE has revealed more of Zaritsyn. Here, we get a nice angle of the cathedral in the center, while snow begins to fall. Surprisingly, only three flags are included. This will definitely force a lot of close quarter infantry fights. Meanwhile, the inside looks a lot more calm, but I can assure you will be flooded with grenades and overwhelming combat. So ladies and gentlemen, we've reached the end of today's video. I hope this was entertaining as much as it was helpful. I'm Nightlife Gaming, and I'll see you all back here in the next news feed.